In today's video, we're going to cover a highly requested topic, which is what is in my nursing and NP bags? They are different. We're going to cover both of them. It's going to be a true adventure. I haven't cleaned them out. I haven't tidied them up. My nursing bag, I haven't touched in nine, 10 months. So it's going to be a relic of the past and we're just going to walk through it together. We'll see what I brought to work every day. And I'll give you a few tips along the way of like things that might be helpful for you when you're going to your nursing or your NP job, but really it's just going to be an adventure and we're going to find what kind of a hoarder I truly am in these bags. <laughs> If you're new here, welcome, I'm Liz. I'm a family nurse practitioner now, hence the bag of NP stuff. And before that, I was a bedside nurse on a med surge floor and then a pediatric floor for years and years. So I've acquired some things and I'm sure we're going to uncover some expired food in one of these bags. But before we dive into the video, I wanted to take a quick second to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And if you haven't heard of Skillshare, let me just take a quick second to tell you about one, how awesome it is, and two, how it can teach you all the things and enrich your life when you're not learning about all the nursing things or NP school things. So. We all know about how important like self-care doing all of that is, but it can be challenging to find something that's entertaining and you just want to go to like straight into Netflix zone. But this is a really cool alternative that I've been diving into lately. It's an online learning community. It's kind of like school, but for fun things you want to actually learn. Not that you don't want to learn about nursing, but you know what I mean. And it has over 25,000 classes that you can learn pretty much whatever you want. It has foreign languages. If you're stressed and you're a type of person who needs to cook when you're stressed, you can learn how to make gelato or currently what the class that I'm taking that might be fun for you is I'm doing one on iPad hand lettering. Cause you know how I make those notes and I bring them to work, but they aren't like the prettiest things. Cause I don't know how to use the apps to make my handwriting look all cool. This is teaching me how to use the apps on my iPad to make my hand lettering look pretty. So my notes can be pretty and who doesn't want pretty notes. So you get the point. There's classes on literally almost everything you can think of and you just get to sit there and watch and learn from them. So if you're sitting there thinking, I am stressed. I want to learn how to make gelato while my watercolor that I just learned how to paint dries. If you click the link in my description box, you can get free access to Skillshare for two months. So that's the premium version where you just get to watch all the videos and learn all the things on and on and on. And after you've gotten your two free months and fall in love with it, it's super affordable to keep going with an annual membership that's less than $10 a month. So that's like, to Starbucks's. It's been such a cool thing to explore and I hope you enjoy it too. All right, now time to learn something new of a totally different sort, which is what on earth is in my bag from when I was a bedside nurse? Again, don't judge me. It's probably truly gross and disgusting. So the type of bag I brought to my nursing job is this, it's like an old Vera Bradley bag. I got it back. I don't know, is Vera Bradley still cool? I truly have no idea. If I was gonna go do it all again and I was just entering the workforce, I would totally buy a backpack and bring all my nursing stuff in that because that seems like a cool hip way to you know bring things and it would just be so convenient strap it on and go can you guys see all the dust that has just flown out of this bag that's gross but that's what i would do now but i had this huge beer bradley bag and i mean i'm talking it's like gigantic it has all the pockets and it served me well so i loved it in its time all right let's dive in here and see what we have all right so first thing i have this nice little pencil pouch that says night owl my mom got it for me when i first got my nursing job adorbs it's laminated is that laminated it's covered in plastic so that things can't get out and get wet and what did i keep in here pens because you guys know you can never have too many pens i have my backup watch which its battery died a long time ago but it's an owl and it was cute i'll be totally honest i don't know why i have this extra wallet watch in here maybe it was in case my first one got barfed on i also have all the miscellaneous things that you find in your pockets at the end of the day i would put them in here so that i could either bring them back to work and return them or take them home if i needed to use them or just put them back in my pocket for the next day it's like this this is a connector so that you could insert your secondary line into your primary tubing fun Lots and lots of pens, like I said. Something for the cafeteria, where you know if you get buy a certain number of sandwiches, you get one free. Lots of these badge reels. I think I have two extra ones in here because there's nothing worse than your badge reel breaking in the middle of their shift and it being like dangled and stuck like this. You know what I mean? So I bought a three pack on Amazon. Here's my extras. And if I find anything useful in here that I'm like, oh yeah, you gotta have it, I'll make sure to link it in the description box so you can check it out. We got some scissors, two pairs of scissors which I didn't carry on my person because for safety reasons, but they're in my little bag if I ever needed to grab them. A hair tie, highly recommend any of you ladies or gentlemen with longer hair, have a few extra hair ties. You'll be the savior of the unit when you need it. A few two by twos and an 18 gauge needle. Okay, that's for the pouch. What else do we have in here? 
this is helpful headphones, which is not a bad thing to have, especially if you ever have any downtime or if you have the wonderful fortune of having an actual break, you can watch some YouTube, a podcast, whatever you wanted to do. Or if you had a long walk to your parking garage or had to take the bus, anything, I always had some headphones in there just in case. Don't recommend wearing headphones while you're actually at work. You might not be able to hear things, but during your down or break times or anything like that, a nice pair of headphones would be good. Also, if you ever have to do any like education on the unit, you don't have to wear the gross headphones that they provide like for your learning modules. You can just use your own and know that you're not getting some, I don't know, weird ear disease. <laughs> Is that a thing? I don't, I don't think so. Next, a cell phone charger. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Keep something that you can hook into a computer and charge your lifeline, AKA your cell phone with. Oh good, now we're getting into the good stuff deodorant. So I had this spray deodorant because you know, sometimes you're sitting there and you're like wondering, you're like, did I put deodorant on today? Has anyone else ever experienced that? Maybe it's just me. I did not utilize my locker well at all, just to make this clear. So a lot of the stuff in here, you're like, why wouldn't you put that in your locker? I didn't really keep anything in my locker. I honestly forgot I had one and I never emptied it out. I realized that like a week or two, I was like, I never emptied my locker. So I kept things like deodorant in my bag in case I was ever having a questionable moment where I was like, I can't remember if, this is my third 12 and I don't remember if I put on deodorant. No fear, I brought it with me. Next, possibly the most important thing you could bring to work or maybe snacks. These would be tied, chapstick. I have three in here because you never know when one's gonna run out and you might need another one. So chapstick, because I've mentioned this before, hospitals are like the Sahara Desert for your lips. It just dries things out and it's terrible. So make sure you have plenty of chapstick on hand. I actually, that was one of the very few things I usually kept in my scrub pocket. I didn't carry a lot, but I did keep chapstick. Mints. There's nothing worse than being at the end of your shift, knowing you have to give report to someone and your breath smells like a sewer. <laughs> mints just pop a few mints in your mouth any or along the way if you know you're gonna have to talk to people oh here's a thank you card for my baby shower i never gave to beth sorry beth all right what else is in here some broken headphones i think i got from the unit when i probably forgot mine we'll throw those away a little pocket calendar and i use this one specifically for when i was making my work schedules i would write anything i needed off in here so i wouldn't bring my real planner in i would kind of duplicate over here like just my work request so that it was less busy and because my school one was crazy and it would get confusing but this just had like my request for work that i needed to put and submit to work so i always kept one of these around that was just for that sole purpose oh i have calipers so this was i worked on a pediatric cardiology unit i probably barely ever use this but just in case we ever printed strips i got my calipers to be able to measure like the qrs all that good stuff. A patient belongings bag that is made of plastic because you never know when some kind of substance is going to get on your clothes and you need to transport them home safely and in a dry packaging container. So this was for things that got icky. A flashlight. I think the thought behind this was just if I ever had to, we had a parking garage at work, if I ever felt uncomfortable, um, I could bring this and use it as like to light my path. Sometimes we had to park really, really far away from the hospital and take a bus. And this is both heavy and a source of light. So, weapon and light. Mock drops, I must have been sick. Those are probably nasty and I should throw them out. Pretzels, remember how I said snacks were important? There's gonna be some snacks in here. Let's see when these expired. The 12th of September, 2017. We'll throw those away. See, more chapstick. Oh, my badge reel. So this is the badge reel that I wore most recently. In here, I would keep my ID card. On the back here, I have my schedule of my last schedule I ever worked. So I always kept that and all my passwords to like the Omni cells and all the things that I probably just shouldn't carry with me, but I did because I couldn't remember. You know, they make you change the password like every day and you're like, I can't keep up. So I kept that all in here. I also kept a little hair top clip because you never know when you're gonna need a little hair clip and pin a certain piece of hair back. I usually kept my hair up or braided, but I don't know. Sometimes you just needed to tuck it up and away. There's on my badge clip. More mints. Tried to be nice to my day shift nurses. And a multi-tool that Joe got me has a nail file on it and little mini scissors so you can cut something. And what else did it have on it? Knife, I guess. I don't know. Obviously that's like tiny. That can't do any damage, but this was really helpful to have because you could get like hang nails at work or your nail could get caught on something and you just needed to chop it off or you needed to cut something. And this came in a ton of handy. I didn't keep it on me, but I kept it in my bag. Weird little multi-tool to have. My sign off for my TB test. This was a list of things people told me I needed to have by before I had a baby. So that tells you how old some of this stuff is. All right, don't worry. We're ending soon here. 
Oh, guys, a tiny blood pressure cuff. Look, I probably, this is probably one of those weird things that went home with me in my pocket and I just forgot to return. But it's an itty bitty blood pressure cuff. It's a size three. So they went down to size one, if you can imagine. A highlighter, some pens, a new planner that I don't think I ever wrote in, and some more highlighters. Let's see, and on the outside here I have gum. Again, guys, apparently I was obsessed with having my breath smell good. But you know that like two or 3 a.m. when you're just like, like I've had all the coffee, I've had all the food, I just need to chew on something, there we go. And then last but not least, medicine. So I always had Tylenol, Advil, I think that's all that in here, because you never want to get a headache in the middle of your shift and be like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Because even though you're surrounded by medicine, you can't use it. So yeah, there you go. In case you were ever wondering what went to work with me, that is what went to work with me when I was a nurse. I would say most of them are useful. Are all of them necessary? No, chapstick and snacks, absolutely necessary. The other ones, optional, but fun. And before we dive into what I bring to work as an NP, which is a lot less, don't worry, those of you who are panicking or like, that was really long, it's much shorter. I do have a whole video on what I recommend bringing to work as a nurse, and I will link that video down in the description box as well. And it goes over like what I usually carried on my person and some other thing like water bottle, all that stuff. Uh, I will link that down there because that might be helpful as well. All right, what's in my MP bag? This is the bag I bring with me to work as a nurse practitioner. It says E because my name is Elizabeth. I go by Liz most commonly, but my preceptor in NP school got me this. What is in here? First of all, my stethoscope. My stethoscope also would have been in my nursing bag. I honestly don't know where my stethoscope is. It's a, the one I brought to my bedside job was a Littman Classic 2, I believe. This is my NP stethoscope. It's a Cardiology 4 and I love it. My purse. So I am lazy and I just throw my entire purse in here. This has normal purse things, not a ton, like my wallet, pretty much. Chapstick, again, obviously, and mints, in case you're noticing a theme in my life. I have my binder that I've talked about before. This is my alphabetized binder. And this is where I write down new little like treatment things. It's my alphabetized one. I've talked about it before where like treatments and procedures I'll write down here under its alphabetized tab. This goes with me everywhere. I'm constantly updating this and it's like job specific. So I've talked about making one of these before. I can't recommend it enough. Shocker guys, snacks. Here's some Chex Mix. Some Lara bars, yum. What else is in here? Oh, a nail file. Guys, I'm not like obsessed about my nails, I promise. I just can't stand if any of them get jagged or anything, I have to deal with it, hence the nail file in there and here. I keep my nails really, really short, and I find that's just the easiest for me with all like the hands-on manipulation I do at work, but even when they're short, they can get jagged, so I have a nail file. I have some pamphlets that I acquire that I just need to come home. I wanted to make copies and eventually make something for like my MP binder with. Um, this is talking about the DEXA scans. So I need to, it's just like a reminder in here that I need to make a sheet about it. I have a thank you card from a patient. Um, because I think it's sometimes helpful to just have things, you know, when things are sweet. I have a whole file at work that I can move this over into where I'm gonna keep things that are nice for my bad days that I need to look at. A sticky note pad, because you never know when you're gonna need one of those. And then the last thing I have is I almost always have a binder that I bring, and that's just for other notes or if I'm working on making like a worksheet of information, I'll write that down in here. And just any other types of notes that I ever need to write, but I don't wanna put them in that other one, I put in here. All right, is that it? Yep, that's it, that's all I bring. <laughs> that's all that's in here. One day, like I said, I don't bring a ton to work in my bag every day. I will make a video of what I have at work because now it's a little bit different, obviously, as a provider now versus a nurse where you have to, you don't have a desk as a nurse, you have to bring everything with you. I do have a little desk and office area as an NP, so I keep a lot more stuff at work for my NP job. In the next few weeks, I'll definitely make a video on what I have at work resource-wise and in my little desk area. But there you go. That is what I brought to work as a nurse versus what I bring to work as an NP. 
Sorry if that made me look like a little bit of a hoarder or like I was <laughs> obsessed with mints, but I kind of am obsessed with mints, so that's totally fine. If you enjoyed this video and are interested in others about nursing and NP stuff, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you on my channel. I also have a weekly vlog on Saturdays where I just document my life in and out of work as an FNP. And head over to Instagram where I post what I'm seeing at clinic throughout the week and what I'm learning at my job as a family nurse practitioner. And don't forget before you go to go and check that link at the top of my description box for getting your two free months of Skillshare and learning all the new things with me. And last but not least, the question of the week, which is what is your I must have this in my bag at all times item? I'm gonna go, mine is um, snacks. I don't do well, I get hangry. For the betterment of the entire universe, I always keep snacks in my bag. Let me know what yours is. Have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.